two, one. Hey, welcome back in on the grill. Well, we already talked about the grilling uh, segment. You know what's interesting? Um, the sports books opened, but they were open for like one day. Yeah. And then this hit. And this is something I, I can tell you years ago, uh, knowing these guys and, and everything, if you would have told us years ago when we were young kids that we were ever going to see this day, I would have said no way back when. In the early 90s, I would have said, no way Boy, are we going to ever like have a day where you can go into a sports book in Detroit. Oh, I thought you meant sitting here with the three of us. No, oh, well, no, I knew that would have yeah. There's no doubt in my mind it's something dumb no, like that was going to happen. Not. To, I've never career, thought it. Yeah, to, never to thought. do what it's doing down there and have a sports book down there, not a chance. It's interesting, too, because I think sometimes people forget Detroit, uh, I had a chance to talk to some of the MGM people, Detroit is the only market where all four of the major teams have a kiosk in their stadium. Did you realize that? Yeah. There's going to yeah. be a kiosk, there's going to be a kiosk in Comerica, a kiosk in uh, Little Caesars, and a kiosk in Fort Field. The only, the only city in all of America where all four majors are going to have a kiosk in their stadium. Isn't that amazing? It's come a long way. Who went Who went over to Canada just to play those uh, oh. those sports tickets, right? Like, where you pick two, anywhere from two to well, ten absolutely. games? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, I, I think we won a big one when we I went to Montreal, too. I know we had other big ones that were gone. We yeah. didn't come out. Not as fortunate, but, but we absolutely did. Yeah, but the kiosk, the, the online part of this is going to be huge. That's not going to be out to 20, 2021 here. But the, those kiosks online, this is going to be absolutely campus. You had some uh, numbers to, to go over and everything. Some interesting lines. At least one of us there. came prepared. <laughs> All right. So, Just like one of us didn't cook anything today. Oh, I didn't cook. Oh, I didn't oh, like. Oh boy. All right. So, uh, Dave, Sean, when, when I was online, we we're talking about uh, what bets we want to take a look at. Sean, you said fire some lions up. Yes. There, right. So I went to MGM New Jersey's website and I got some lines. So if I were to say, Matt Patricia, Coach of the Year, what do you think goes out there? It's uh, sky high, five thousand. Sky high. You, you're on the uh, site. Dave was on the site. site. Sky Plus high. five thousand. Yep. Plus five thousand. Now let's get into the other polarizing uh, person on the lines here that everyone's going to have their opinion on, Mr. Stafford. All right, tough year last year. Only played eight games, right? But what was he doing before that? But wait, but wait, 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 wait. Comeback player of the year this year. What do you think that about? Those have got to be good odds. Those have got to be really good odds. They're, they're, they're not bad, but the funny thing about it is... Ten to one? Are we going that or plus, plus 600? 14. Plus 1,400, which is basically your, your 14 to one 14 odds. to one. So uh, Cam Newton, not even on a roster, same number. What's that? I don't understand that. You know, people forget, like, honestly, he really was having an unbelievably magical oh, year unbelievable. last year. Absolutely. He really was. I mean, he, he was he was, he was was really on a trajectory towards 5,000 yards again. Absolutely. And that's, that's, there's, let's put our next bet on that one. Okay. Over, under, on yards this year for Mr. Stafford is 4,149 oh. and a half. All day over. over. All day over. It's one that I look at and I'm like, how how can you make that? When he how many yards did he have after eight games last year? You you were getting on to, you know, it was he, he was very close to, to um on pace for five thousand. So what was it twenty four fifty or something like that? The guy's good. Yeah, twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. I Just knew. one yard short. Of twenty five hundred, yeah. halfway to five thousand. Yeah. I don't know how you don't take the under. They're both at a. Minus. You know what they're taking into consideration is his health. That, yeah. that, I mean, that, yeah. that's all that bet is. Is it's a it's a contingent on, contingent yeah. on health. Both bets are minus one ten. So you you're just gonna take up the juice there. I, I love the uh, the over there. So let's say he does. Let's say he tears it up fifty five hundred. This goes bonkers. Well, can I mean, like you're, you're, you're the guy, like what if they don't play the full amount of games? What happens? You're done. Like the bet's just like. Oh, are what? you talking about the no, league? The league. Okay, so that what is happens? very, very interesting. Uh, you'll see that start coming out. You're going to see that in the numbers changing. They have to announce what they're going to do. As of right now, they're moving forward on the, the, the season. Yes. yes. So you, you just, just what it is now. Just like anything else, I'm sitting on two NHL future bets right now. I don't know how they're going to treat that. It's going to be a different format if they come back. What if one of my teams doesn't make it because of that different format? 
but they would have made it regular. I have a feeling they're going to be giving some money back. I, I just we'll have to wait. That's a good point. We'll have to wait and see. Let's say they play the the full schedule. Let's say Matthew Stafford, MVP. Did you look at those numbers? I did not. No. MVP. MVP. A hundred to one. What is it? Plus five thousand. I was going to say basically, you're, basically you're fifty to one. Fifty to one. Yep. All right. Team Detroit Lions to uh, win the NFC North. That can't be that high. That can't be that high, right? Eighty to one. Yeah, I was going to say seventy-five to one, something like that. Yeah, you're close. Plus okay. six fifty. Okay. Plus six fifty. Now, now it jumps up to win the NFC. Sky. See, now we're going dream. I've got, I've got Sky a legitimate two fifty. Bitch. Four thousand. Bam. Is it no it's like you were on the site with me last <laughs> night. <laughs> I did look at it. But All I... right, so now we're getting into dreams, right? We're, we're getting into the Kool-Aid Super Bowl champion, Detroit Lions. Gosh, 10,000. 12. You can find it at 10. This uh, MGM's got it at 8,000. A very interesting one, and I was talking with a guy on Twitter there. He was Gus Goggles. Uh, he was saying, how can the Dolphins be in a similar similar light as the Lions in that number? What do you guys think about the Dolphins are plus 8,000? Being the same, what do we think about it being the same? Being the same as the Lions. You think that mean? That's awful. It, it's Especially awful for with a rookie quarterback. quarterback. It is. No, for awful a rookie for, quarterback? Awful for who? Miami. For, an, uh, for a rookie quarterback, no. Rookie quarterbacks are going to do rookie. I love to. I really no, do. No, but that's what I'm saying. But is yeah. it awful for the? Is it awful for Detroit to have the same number as Miami? Yes, so absolutely. What, what? But what would be some reasons in your mind? I know I've got my opinion of why I think that number is pretty similar, even if it's Tua or. Well, the defense was horrifically bad last year. Let's get that out. Well, I mean, it really was. It was horrifically <laughs> and let's look who moved out. The goat. Yeah. The goat moved yeah. out of that division. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so yeah. that, that, that's good. That's gonna play into it. So Total enough, side note: You see Tua's jersey? Did you see his it's, number? It's, it's you see number, his contract? It's the number one selling jersey. Like that's what kicks you, you know, in the teeth about Detroit not taking him. Like right? Like I know people like uh, like he's the number one jersey. The number I one jersey. Him. The I number one jersey. Him. Like I said it then. I said you create it an identity. You create it, but like you have a, a face of the franchise. Like yeah, absolutely. It just it's. So let's get out of fantasy land. It's okay. Super Bowls <laughs> and NFC Championship. This one's very interesting. All right. Lions to just make the playoffs. Wild card or NFC champ? Just make I don't the think it's that crazy. I really don't. And people can laugh at me. There, there is this much that separates 7-9 and nine and 9-7. Nine and seven. Yep. There really is. In, in the National top. Football yep. League today, there's this much. So I, I don't think it's that crazy. 60-1? Um, Lower? To make the playoffs, a yes is plus three fifty. Jeez. Now Damn. to not make the playoffs, heavy know. favorite at a minus sure. four fifty five. Sure. So it's. Just, I don't think it's that crazy. Like, I just you don't. Say there's that, like. Would I bet on it? Absolutely not. I I, I would. You know, I'm, I'm uh, a cynical guy. No, I wouldn't you know bet on it because like, I'm I'm going no. I, I'm I'm going no, and we'll get into the next couple of bets here. Uh, over under and wins is six and a half. Way over. Seriously, I, I, I love How over. far away? Um, look, honestly, I'm going to say the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised any anywhere between seven and nine, seven, eight, or nine. So okay. seven would have you sweating. But, again, it, it's a, if Matthew Stafford stays healthy, they win at least seven games. I'm convinced of it. So you would go the over. You want to make a bet? You go the over. You're going at a minus 140, Sean. I am not a betting guy. To go under, <laughs> plus 115. You're not a ribs guy either. I... <laughs> I'm, oh my God. I'm not going way over. I like Look, it. Just right, so we'll go a cup of co- uh, hey, a cup okay. of coffee. Yep, cup of coffee. I'll take the under. You're taking the under. I'll take okay. Because wow. here's the Deal. thing. Like I, you got to prove to me that they're going to play as hard as they need to play for Matt Patricia. Through if they if they lose a couple games early, right. we'll be in the same. It, it's. Well, and I'm you cynical see that guy schedule, right now. What the- I'm I'm still cynical guy and like you know what. Every, okay, you're going to play that game? Like, every, every media guy <laughs> in the world, like, just live in 7, 8, 9 wins, predict it every year, and you're good. Like, yeah. just always hang out there. Right. And, like, there's Detroit Lions. All right, 7 and 9, 8 days. It's a media's fault. Well, no, it's not the media's fault, but, like, 
<laughs> well, what, what, like, do you expect them to break out this year? Or is it going to be the same as like? No, I think it's going to be the same. It's like, they're going to be a lot better than they were last year. Your guys' cup of coffee is going to hinge on the first eight games. I think the Lions and have two. Well, well, but the Lions have two home games. I think by like November 11th, like their 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 schedule is unbelievable. It's three so their, strange. Uh, three of their first five. Three of their first eight, so they're three and five. Three of their first eight games are, are at home. They have five road games right off the bat. We know Lions and how they do on the road. Are they going to be different? And I looked at it. I, I said two of those two of those road games are winnable. The other three, not so much. They have to pull one. They have to go three and two in those first five. It is amazing how every year or two it seems like the bye week is early for them. It is just absolutely, it seems like it's always that first or second week of October. It's incredible. And if you talk to the guys, they, they want it later. They, they want the bye week later. For but sure. You have the four games this year. I To me, Mike, to your point, those four games, it's not going to be easy to go out to the desert and win. It just isn't. No. Um, you, you, have to, you have to beat the Bears at home. Absolutely, positively. No other way to say it. You know, maybe you pull an upset of the Saints. You know, they, they beat them a couple of years ago. I, I don't know, but... It, to me, that that screams the old one and three going to the bye week. The season going downhill. You know, it, it's it's one of those situations. So if you want to change people's perspective, like Mister Positive over here, um, you, you know what? That's what you do at the beginning of the year. You take it down. Sure. But if you are one and three this year, then Mister Positive with, was right. With him on the hot seat. Oh, <laughs> but that's the positive. That, yeah. I mean, one and three. Talk about the hot seat warming up. Well, we, we yep. looked at a bunch of other ones. We went down and we looked at specific amount of wins for the Lions. Who's going to win the AFC? Who's going to win the NFC? Who's going to be your Super Bowl champs? Check out the odds over on MGM uh, on their betting site. But I put it to you guys. It, one lock bet for this year in the NFL. What is it? I love the Stafford over 4,100. I love okay. it. Absolutely love it. I think that's, that's free money. Again... We're counting on the fact that he stays healthy. You can't operate under the assumption that somebody's going to get hurt. Like, I'm sure when you no, do your that's... coaching, hey, well, you know what? I better watch out this game. My top line might be yeah, injured. No, you can't you can't, that you can't. No. So that why, I mean, that's a that's. And a, I'm that's jumping on that. Sean, I'm on the Sean train for that. Not my bet of the year. Not my luck. Yeah, but I'm be. jumping I, on I would agree with that. Yeah, I, would, I like it. Different. I really like it. Dave? Offensive rookie of the year. Who'd you take? J.K. Dobbins. Baltimore. You know it's what? a little bit out there. It'll make you some money. Absolutely. Okay. It's what a little was bit out there. Like, Plus 800? It's it's not your favorite, yep. But with them, everybody scheming to stop Lamar, he's going, I'm to, telling be, you, he's I, going to be a perfect fit for that offense. And he's going to run wild. And what's he going to do? Magic. What's he going to do with Mr. Positivity? He's going to make everybody say, like, how Swift doing compared to Dobbins and people that wanted yeah. Dobbins versus Swift? Yeah, and they've got uh, it's they, just they, gonna they still have, it's they've just got gonna Ingram. Happen. Ingram's going to protect Sorry, them there too, yep. right? I love that pick so much. That's my Super Bowl champ is Baltimore. Not yeah. my pick of the year, but that is mine. And it, it'll shock you because I went off of I've been on a big San Francisco tear. You know the, the defensive coordinator from my school, Fortson. Yeah, tractors. Born, love it. All right. To get back on that same. Both my parents were tractors, by the way. Do you know were that? they really? Yeah, I did not know yeah, that. Both my parents no were tractors. My whole family grew up. Shout out to Rose, right. by the way. Hi, Rose. Yep. Rose. I love Rose. That's great. That, that is great. So, I went with the Ravens for my Super Bowl champion. I love that at plus 700. However, my lock of the year, and I looked into this, back onto my San Francisco 49ers. They're over, under, and wins 10 and a half. Why, Mike? Why? That that's a big number. Maybe they fall back up. Ask me, Dave, why I made that pick. Why, Mike? Why? That's a big number. Maybe the they fall back up. The San Francisco 49ers are favored in 15 of their 16 games. Wow. Already favored in 15 of their 16 games. I did some research. The only, the only game they're not is at New Orleans, and they're getting one and a half there. Not bad. Vegas Mike on fire. So that's I'm, a I'm going, big I'm going number, San Francisco over, over 10 and a half. That, I pull oh. and I love future bets. That's what I'm gonna be throwing my money on. I'm gonna hop on that train with you, with uh, Stafford, and and we'll see where it takes us. I got. I will bet you anything that Dave doesn't cook anything next week. That's my. That's my. <laughs> bet of the week this week. I'll bet you anything. That is the pick. 
And not only for Blake, I guess it's for Bet too. B is for B is for I love it. B is also for bitching. Uh, listen, we got to get out of here. Uh, we took too long, but uh, we might have some more stuff coming up on uh, gambling and books and stuff like that. Stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned. Uh, pleasure, guys. We'll see you next week. Absolutely. All right. Peace. Peace.